Hey, I'm Coach T. In this video, I'm going to show off a resource that I really liked for learning Python. Um, I know the, the channel has been very focused on C Sharp for quite a while, but I want to walk back and do a quick little book review of uh, the book that really taught me Python. So if you were tuned in last week, I talked about coaching yourself to code in 2025, and I showed off a couple of the texts that I walked through, and I realized I'm probably overdue for talking about some of these actual resources themselves. Not in extensive depth, because I think you should just read it. Um, I wouldn't show off a resource that I don't like or that I don't think is a valid use of your time. But just to do a little, kind of like a preview, um, I'm not paid or sponsored or anything like that. I don't ask for anything. I just would like to help other people learn. So with that said, when I was learning Python, I started with the Python Foundations documentation, and that was very challenging. I picked up a Udemy course on, um, what was the first one I picked up? I don't even remember at this point, but it was it was too hard. Um, it was basically I just didn't have the background knowledge, and then my brother recommended that I pick up this book, the Python Crash Course. Um, it, he has the PDF. I got the big chunky second edition. There's not a tangible difference between the second and the third edition. I think he just improved some of the uh, core stuff at the end, and then because Python itself is a language, advances every couple of months. Some of the notes are updated. It's formatted a little bit differently, but effectively, when he and I were working through it chapter by chapter together um, for, for a little while there, the content is the same, even down to the exercises. So this is by Eric Mathis. Uh, he's a, a, a math teacher in Alaska, maybe? Yeah. High school math, science, and programming teacher living in Alaska. And this is written like a lesson plan, most of the chapters. So what that means is when he is starting a chapter, uh, what you are going to be learning is very clearly laid out. I'm trying to get to the beginning of a chapter here. Come on. I skipped over a whole bunch. Ah, come on, Eric. Yeah. So you'll get a summation of what it is you're going to be working on, and then he'll give broad, simple explanations. The thing that I really like about this resource and why I think it's worth your time is unlike many coding courses, especially online like Udemy, Coursera, uh, even the MIT MOOC class, um, this is packed, packed with coding exercises. There are, in most chapters, like dozens of short, concrete coding exercises to apply directly what he's talking about into code. And then you run it and you debug it and you figure out why you got different results than he did. He really does start from the basics as well. Um, let me see if I just get here. So we start off with setting up your programming environment. It talks about different Python versions, different operating systems to help out, out on Windows, Mac, and Linux. Starting your first Hello World program, print, and then in quotes, Hello World, right? Uh, configuring using Sublime, if that's what you're using. But he also has other resources for other editors. And then uh, running Python programs from the terminal. And then, so that's all set up. You get 13 pages of packed, good, illustrated setup, followed by uh, almost 15 pages on your common variable types. Uh, so what are variables? How do you end up with naming errors due to capitalization? Uh, variables as labels, which is a really good way to look at that. Uh, and then you're doing... Let's see, you get three, seven, seven sample exercises. And a lot of times those are multi-steps. So you can almost treat that as 14 or even 20 different uh, exercises. You get a whole subsection on numbers, uh, which includes two, three, four, four more uh, exercises. And then comments, which involves another handful of those. And then we start doing lists and working with lists. And it just flows very intuitively um, as somebody who's profession is all about understanding what is good teaching and how to get people to do good teaching this is good teaching this is very accessible it is not written uh, at a high level so it's easy for someone with low background knowledge to get right in he's kind of funny too he, he cracks jokes inside the pages where you don't expect it and it breaks it up with a little bit of levity so keeping this video at less than five minutes if you are learning python in 2025 or onward I'd pick up the Python Crash Course, get a used copy on eBay, or I think he sells it even cheaper on his website or the, what is this, Starch Press? 
No Starship Press. Yeah. They go on sale periodically and also on Humble Bundle. All right. I broke five minutes. My bad. Uh, that's a quick little book review for the Python Crash Course. I'm Coach T. If you want to learn more about Python, I've got a whole bunch of videos. And I hope that you build something cool in, well, whatever this current year is. All right. See you next time.